Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find percentage of a number. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so looking at question A here. Now, if you've been following this video series, um, I know in the previous video we did fraction of a number. And before that, we actually did percentages to fractions as well. So what I'm going to show you folks here is I'm going to show you how to do it in the calculator. Well, actually, I'll do show you how to do it manually first, and then we can sh um, show you how to do it in the calculator as well. So what I'm going to do is to do this manually. I've got 30%. I'm going to so the first step is like to write down 30% off is the same thing as saying times 60. Now I want to convert 30% into a fraction, which means I'm going to put that straight up as 30 over 100 times 60. And from here, what you can do is you could multiply the numerators um, and then divide by 100. That's one way. Uh, you can look for common factors, get rid of common factors. That's another way. There's just so many ways of doing this. Um, so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm actually going to get rid of the, uh, the what do you call it? The zeros. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get rid of the zeros because think about it like this. Now, 30 times 60, 30 times 60 is 1,800. And then I've got 100 in the denominator. And basically, I've got 1,800 divided by 100. Now, this is where um, I could do this the long way. I could write it as 18 times 100 and then 1 times 100 and then cancel out the 100. So I could have done something like this. I could have gone 18 times 100 divided by 1 times 100 cancel out the hundreds and I'm going to get 18 over 1 so my final answer is going to be 18. However, if you have a big number, uh, especially with zeros at the end and same with the numerator and denominator, a shortcut way, which I know it's frowned upon a lot, but is to just simply do this. And when you do that, you're actually going to get 18 divided by 1, which is equal to just 18. So that's just one way of doing it. And there's so many different ways of doing fractions of a number. Sorry, meant to say percentage of a number. But of course, percentage of a number is just the same thing as fraction of a number. Um, all right, so looking at question B, 20% of 18. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to show you how to do this in the calculator. 30% of 60. Um, so what you will have to do is we need to convert that into a fraction. So we're going to go 30. Uh, over 100 multiplied by 60. I'm not sure I have a percentage number here that I can see in the calculator for this one. So there we go. 30% of 60 is 18. So if we want to do 20% of 18, so I'm just going to go 20 out of 100 because that's what 20% is and multiplied by 18. And when I do this, I'm actually going to get 18 over 5. Now, this particular calculator, you need to go shift equals to get the ac accurate answer, which is 3.6. So 3.6 is what we want to get for B. But how do we do this uh, without a calculator? Now, I know in the first method that I showed you 30% of 60, I, I went 30 over 100. I'm slightly going to show you a different method again here this time. I mean, we could still do the same method. We could actually go. I'll actually show both methods here. So 20% of 18 is the same thing as saying 20% multiplied by 18. Now we're going to get 20 over 100 because that's what 20% is multiplied by 18. Now at this point, I've got 20 times 18. Now 20 times 18 is 360 divided by 100. And again, I've got the zeros that I can get rid of. So I'm left over with just 36 divided by 10. And if you followed some of my other video series, uh, then you would know that when we divide by 10 or 100, we have to move the decimal point. So in this particular case, we're dividing by 10, which means the decimal point is going to move one spot from where it originally was. Because remember, 36 is the same thing as saying 36.0. So now, because we're dividing it by 10, we are actually going to end up with 3.6. So that's what we had as our answer, 3.6. That's one way of doing it. Now, the second way of doing it is actually to work out what 10% of 18 is. Now, to work out what 10% of 18 is, all you have to do is go 18 divided by 10. And 18 divided by 10 is 1.8. Again, using that decimal point, you know, moving the decimal point one, uh, one uh, place value across, that's going to be 1.8. Now, if 
10% is 1.8, then we can actually say 20% is the same thing as saying 2 times 10%. So we can actually say 2 times 1.8, and 2 times 1.8 is again 3.6. Now notice how I've actually shown you folks how to do these questions without a, a, a calculator. And of course, if you are allowed to use a calculator, then by all means, use the calculator. All right, so question C, we've got 15% of 800. So I'm going to go 15 uh, divided by 100. And I'm going to multiply it by 800. And in this case, I've got 120. All right, so let's try this again. 15% of 800 is, I'm going to say that as 15% multiplied by 800, which is 15 over 100 times 800. Now I can start canceling out those zeros. So 1, 2, and I'm left over with just 15 times 8, which is equal to 120. Now, if I want to try the 10% method, so what I could have done is I could have gone 10% of 800, because that's quite easy. Because 800 divided by 10, you know, I can just kind of do that in my head, but I go 800 divided by 10 equals to 80. So if 10% is 80, so 10% is equal to 80, then 5% is, which is half of 10, which means half of 80 is 40. So then we can say 10% plus 5% equals 15%. So then we can say 80 plus 40 equals 120. So as you can see, um, there is multiple ways to do uh, these types of questions without a, uh, without a calculator. I mean, you could convert your percentage to a fraction or a decimal. Um, yeah, just so many different ways of doing this question. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.